ESPN's offense this year across the league and some of the NBA's best scores, notably, of course, Steph Curry. They're still performing at an ultra high level. There's some obvious setbacks, but they're still doing their thing. And you can check out Steph's amazing layup from last night. And look, we got to bring in Kendrick Perkins for this one because seeing this layup here got me thinking. Perk, who do you think is the better shot maker? Is it Steph Curry or is it Kyrie Irving? Oh, this is an easy one, Charlie. I mean, it's a landslide. And it's Steph Curry. You talking about a guy that changed the game, a generational talent that made bad shots cool to take in today's game. You just don't get that often. Steph Curry is a guy that we probably would never see again in this lifetime. We talking about the greatest shooter of all time, the guy that made it cool for everyone like Dame Dollar and Trey Young to be pulling up from the logo. We even see LeBron James doing it. A guy that is a career shooter of 48% from the field. You really don't get that out of a point guard. And when you look at what Steph does, the way that he's able to create for himself, the difficulty of the shots that he makes over guys that are taller than him. And it's not just three pointers. It's not just mid range. It's the point that he's able to get in the paint and finish with circus shots like you just put on a preview or floaters and things to that nature. Steph Curry is one of one. He's a generational talent and he changed the game of basketball. He made it cool for people to take bad shots now, and it's okay. Like, people actually working on those shots in practice, pulling up for the logo. So, to me, it's not even close. Low knock on Kyrie. I think he's a better creator, but he's not a better shot maker than Steph Curry. And if anybody disagree, disagree they crazy. Steph Curry is the greatest shooter of all time. And with the exception of your conclusion, I agree with everything you said, but I don't agree with the conclusion. Steph Curry from the outside is one of one. He also has great, his handles are ridiculous, and he can finish in the paint, you know, almost as well as anyone. So from the outside, Steph is a better shot maker. Now, Kyrie Irving can shoot from the outside at an elite level, but no one is Steph Curry. Not even Damian Lillard from the outside is Steph Curry. But no one in the history of the game finishes better than Kyrie Irving in the paint under the basket. He has the greatest layup package, package of layups, in the history of basketball. No one, not, not even better, no one has ever done it as well. Also, as great as Steph's handles are, Kyrie's are even better. Steph is a greater player than Kyrie. He is more unselfish. He's a better shooter, all that stuff. But if we're just talking about shot making, Steph from the outside, Kyrie from the inside. But, but, but Steph is, is great on the inside and Kyrie's great on the outside, but, but Steph is the best ever from the outside. Kyrie is the best ever on the inside. And now it comes down to if those two things cancel, the clutch. Now let me tell you something, Perk. Steph Curry has become a clutch player. He's become in the finals. But until this pat, uh, two finals ago, Steph Curry consistently didn't shoot as well and didn't play as well the deeper you went into the playoffs. No, I, I don't take any joy or pleasure in saying that, but it's a fact. I saw him run the greatest half-court offense in the history of basketball for 73 wins. But in the finals last 422, at Oracle against LeBron's team and Kyrie's team, they didn't make a single shot, and that included Steph Curry not taking them, not making them, and throwing the ball away. Kyrie Irving, you can say a lot, whatever you want to say about him, Kyrie has always been a dude where when the ball is in his hands at the end of a game, you feel very good about him taking that shot. So who's a better shot maker? Steph from the outside, Kyrie from the inside, and I'll say this, Steph has now caught Kyrie in the clutch, but it didn't used to be that way. Well, Max, you still haven't given me a clear-cut answer. You straddling the fence. I thought this was it's first a, take where you stand behind what you said. Heat. To me, you just chose you just chose Steph and Kyrie. You got to pick one. You can't straddle the fence. Tell me which one you picking. It's a dead heat, Perk. A dead heat. Steph from the outside, Kyrie on the inside. No, I, you I know right now. Listen, I, you're I, the one who said it's no. not close. It, it's not close. It's not close. When you look at a guy like Steph Curry that took a event again, and he was the the top dog. He was the top dog. Guess what? 
when he when he was in the lottery every single year. So don't come giving me nothing about oh. What the fuck. Not talking about who's so a greater the war, player. You see, We're talking about who's I'm a better shot I'm just telling maker. you. I'm telling you because you brought up clutch moments. Steph Curry been in those clutch moments. See, Max, the thing about you that I I really don't like is that you always remember what happens in the finals, but you forget what happened in the first round, the yeah. second round, the third round. All that is the makeup of winning the Not championship. True. And guys are key in those rounds. Steph Curry, we have said time and time again, yes, he hasn't won the finals MVP, and I'm okay with that. But guess what? Up until the finals, he has arguably been the best player in the playoffs alongside LeBron James when he was making those runs and go to the state. So don't give me that okay, but Steph Kirk. ain't clutch because I didn't watch him hit a dagger in New Orleans. I didn't watch him hit a few daggers against the Houston Rockets in the Western Conference Finals. But when we talk about the best shot maker ever, the best shot maker ever, Steph Curry ranks up there with the best of them. And right now, well, he's the best shot maker in today's game. And he's the most efficient, Perk. at the point guard position especially, the most efficient shot maker in today's game. Let, let me tell you what I don't like about you. Nothing really. I, get, I, I, I enjoy you. But the point <laughs> is this, Perk. The point is this. <laughs> You say I forget what happened leading up to the finals. It's not that I forget. You do. It's that each round, the importance goes up. The significance goes up. If you talk about the most clutch moments, of course they're going to happen in the finals. Second most clutch will be in the conference finals, and so on. And what I'm saying is, when it, like one of the things in Kyrie's favor, even though Steph shoots it's better from the outside, and Kyrie's better in the paint, one of the things going in Kyrie's favor is that in clutch moments through his whole career, you always felt very comfortable with Kyrie uh, taking those shots because you knew I his mean, performance wasn't going to fall off. Now, Steph doesn't fall uh, off anymore, but for years there, it was like, where'd Steph's shot go when you needed it most? Let's be honest. Yeah, I, you know what? You know what, Charlie? I, I know Stephen A is livid right now because, listen, Max, you're, you still haven't answered the question. This is first take. You can't straddle the fence. Give us an answer. It ain't Steph. Tell me about it's, it's first Steph take. on the outside I'm and going Kyrie at in the you. inside. No, no, I'm going at you because you're straddling the fence. I told you who was my who was the greatest shot maker out of the two. It's Steph Curry, and it's not even a debate. You are straddling the fence. Who is the better shot maker, Max? Steph Curry or Kyrie? <laughs> Kyrie Irving is the better shot maker because he can do it on the inside better than Steph. He can also do it on the outside, and he's done it That's under so pressure dis- his whole career. Always under That's pressure so- <laughs> in the clutch. That's so disrespectful. Wow. Wow. Hey, Perk, I didn't know what he was going to say because you finished up your initial argument saying if he disagreed with you, he'd be crazy. So, I don't know. Did Max just prove himself to be crazy? I don't know. Yes, also, yes. Perk, I got to yes. I'll tell you, you this. I have, I'll tell you this. It is a dead you. heat. It's a photo finish, Charlie. But if you're going to make me choose in a dead heat, that's my choice. <laughs> All right. Well, look, Steph Curry already this season has scored 741 points. Only one player has ever done that, who ex- exceeded that in the first 25 games of the season at age 32 or older. Michael Jordan. So, Perk, I there you go. I, Thanks for coming on. I,